Hi, I'm Tristan, and this is my 2011 Toyota RAV4 that I live out of for two or three months out of the year. There are seven big things you need to worry about and think about when it comes to living in a small space like this. The first is where you're going to sleep. For me, the rear seats fold down, and uh, I have a platform here to support my head, and I have a one and a half inch self-inflating mattress and a closed cell foam mattress underneath that. As long as I push the front seat forward all the way, I have plenty of room and I'm about uh, 5'10", 5'11"-ish. The second thing you need to worry about is storage. This is looking back from the front driver's seat and the shelf here that I built has been a game changer. My legs fit underneath there, but I can fit things in the plastic bins underneath. The top of the shelf also lifts up to, uh, to provide easy access to the things inside of the shelf. Next to me in the back, I have two long bins that hold my kitchen gear and miscellaneous camping items. On top of the shelf, I have a couple of bins strapped down, and then here I have a couple of chairs and a side table and, and another little camping table. I also have a cargo box on top of my RAV4, which is great, it provides a lot of extra storage. And then I make use of unused space by having little storage bags and other uh, little storage accessories throughout the car. I've got one here on the back of the, of the headrest. I've got this one, this bag hanging between the seats. I have this cargo hammock up on the ceiling. If you're interested in things like that, you can check out my store at kemchatkagear.com and there will also be a link for that in the description. Number three, you need water. I have seven or eight gallons on the floor in front of the passenger seat, the front passenger seat. This is a four gallon jug, then I have a couple of smaller one gallon and, and one liter jugs. Four, you need food. All of my cold food is in this cooler here, which is in the rear passenger seat. And then all of my dry food is in these two bins on top of the cooler that I can strap down with that orange strap so that they don't fly around while I'm driving. Five, hygiene. I have this little pop-up privacy tent that I use to shower and go to the bathroom. Inside I have a little folding camp toilet that I made. The toiletries that I use every day, like a toothbrush and toothpaste, are up in that bag. And then the ones that I use a bit more occasionally, like a beard trimmer and a mirror, are in this side bag. To brush my teeth and sometimes wash my hair, I have this little spray bottle. I made this little camp shower that holds a few liters of water. I can leave it out in the sun to heat it up and then I can hang it from the edge of my kayak to shower with. Six electronics. I have a 100 watt solar panel that charges two 35 amp hour batteries in here. I have a 400 watt inverter and the cables run through a slightly cracked window right here and then down. I also have a little, I think 200 watt inverter right here that plugs into the cigarette lighter that I use to charge camera batteries and recharge my lantern and charge my phone. In this bag between the two front seats here I have a couple of lanterns and then these cables run off of my inverter and off of my uh, my solar battery bank. This is just a USB cable and then this is a, a um, an extension cord so I can plug in my laptop. I can easily unclip this and bring it up with me in the front or keep, keep it with me in the back. And same thing with this USB cable that I can use to charge my phone or my tablet. I also have a small USB fan that runs off of the solar battery bank and uh, I can angle it onto my face or onto my legs. And then number seven is privacy. I have these curtains that come down on the side and then roll up when not in use. And then in the other windows, these windows, these windows, the rear window, I've cut pieces of Reflectix to size. And you can just press fit them into the windows. For the front window, I have a regular roll-up sunshade that just goes across the front window. And basically that's it. That's how I live out of my car for two or three months out of the year when I'm traveling. Usually I am finding a free campsite on BLM land or national forest land, some type of public land. 
Thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions. Links to several of the things I show and mention in the video will be in the description.